what's going on guys we got a pretty cool video for today we're trying out the new women's hockey mode in nhl 22 if you guys want to play this you simply go to offline double ihf tournaments and then click on women's world championship um i've seen you know a few screenshots and stuff from this i'm just kind of curious you know how does it play does it feel different than the regular game now i actually want to be able to show you guys all the lines quickly so i'll take control of all the teams here this of course is the double ihf team so um one thing i noticed there's no swedish team which is interesting i guess sweden made the olympics they didn't make on um, the world championship and before we play our first game i actually want to adjust the checking sliders as if you guys don't know there's no hitting in the women's hockey like i think it's a minor penalty if you do throw a body check so hitting assistance here i'm going to turn down to zero that hopefully you know it really opens up the ice especially since we're already on international ice um hitting power you can see i turned down to zero but i'm gonna do it for myself as well i think that'd be a bit unfair if i'm skating around the ice you know dropping these huge hits the computers can't do that hopefully that just makes you know the gameplay a bit more authentic i just realized too i forgot to point out the ratings you can see there's quite a difference between a couple of teams and the rest canada they have the highest rated team 97 usa second highest 94 i mean these teams are pretty much always playing each other for the gold finland there's decent rating 82 they then have some teams in the 70s russia switzerland czech and germany um, you then have a couple teams in the 60s in Japan and Hungary, Denmark there, only a 50. So uh, when they play Canada, the USA, that might be like a 20 nothing game. And I just want to quickly show you guys the ratings for these teams. Like I said, it's pretty interesting because there's such a big discrepancy. So starting off with Canada, you got Sarah Nurse here, of course, starting on her sister. Marie Philip Poulin is actually the highest rated player in this mode. She's 94 overall. Um, you can see there just the rest of the Canadian team. Very high rated. Some of them have X-Factors, some of them don't. Um, again, very, very high rated team. I think like the Denmark team I was looking at is all 50s. Um, 87, 92 goalies. I feel like we'll definitely start the 92 there. They even got a bunch of good scratch players. A 90 overall goalie scratch. Like, that's when you know you're stacked. So there's a look at Canada. Obviously, best team, followed by the U.S. Um, the Czech Republic team here. This is actually kind of cool. I didn't expect um, every single team to have headshots. I was honestly thinking it might just be Canada, USA, but... I guess double IHF probably just sent over all the headshots. 84 overall goalie for them. Interesting. Denmark is like the team I was saying. I feel like they got done dirty here. I mean, 49 for them. Like, are they really that bad? Um, I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't know. They have a 75 overall who should be starting. I don't know why so many of the backups there, you know, starting for teams. So the Finnish team is actually pretty good. 92 overall. First line center. 91 overall there on the third line right wing. I'm just going to do them a favor there and put her on the first line, even if that's not, you know, accurate. Same with 93 overall bottom pair. Again, even if it's not accurate, like, I don't really know how that makes sense. 87, 89, every single team so far has had a better backup. Germany does have a better starter, at least. Uh, we'll see if there's, like, a dry settle equivalent here to carry the Germans, but does not look like it. They're basically all in the 60s. I'm hungry there, mostly 50s. Uh, there is a 78, though. Uh, Gas Bricks, I probably butchered that name 76 overall goalie japan here 75 starter that's not too bad uh the rest of the team though looks to be in the 60s russian team here they got an 80 overall on d some 70s 81 center there their goaltender i'm not sure why every single team seems to have the high rated goalie as the backup also too guys one thing i was just thinking for the gameplay it might be really interesting to have like shorter goalies um this girl here is five six especially if you're using canada usa with you know 90 plus overall players a 5-5 goalie, I think, is going to be a lot easier to score on, even if they are, you know, an 80-something goalie. It'll definitely be interesting for the game plan, again, with the international lights, a lot of good passing, hopefully. Uh, finally, here, the American team. So, uh, Kendall Coyne Schofield, I think, is the fastest player. She's got 96 speed there, and she's tied, I think, with Hillary Knight uh, for the second highest rated. Uh, Knight, of course, very good player. Same with Brianna Decker. The American team's just as stacked as Canada, I'd say. Amanda Kessel there, of course. Phil Kessel's younger sister. Uh, defensively there, they have a couple 90s. So yeah, should be Canada USA in the final. They actually have the high rated goalie as a starter. Okay, so cool to see. Like I said, guys, I want to just kind of test out the gameplay here. I'm thinking I'll do like a game that doesn't really matter. Um, maybe we'll do, you know, Canada versus who was the, like the really bad rated team. Actually, you know what I'm thinking? I should play USA in the round robin because there's a chance it won't be Canada USA in the gold medal. I want to kind of have that matchup. So Finland, Canada somehow lost to 5-3. to three. I'm curious to see how the ratings match up here. So, 98-193 for Canada, 94-96-92 for the USA. I thought the Americans had better defense, but maybe they just had a couple players who were higher rated than Canada's, but uh, obviously Canada's is higher overall with 100D there. So, um, this should be a fun game to play. Like I said, tune down the hitting, bigger national ice, the small goalies. I'm very curious to see, you know, how different the gameplay is. So here we go. Lose the opening draw, that's never good. Uh, if you guys are wanting it, just three minute period, so like it's not going to take too long. And I think I have it on All-Star, just to kind of like keep it 
relatively normal. But yeah, I just want to kind of get up, score an opportunity. Yeah, this really big ice is definitely nice. <laughs> we get scored on that early. Hillary Knight, who else? I actually, not gonna lie, you guys might have been able to tell, I went for like a hit on her, and then like it just didn't work at all. So I think the you know slider's working as intended. Cool in here, like 94 overall. I feel like we just gotta get a shot on net. I think the slider worked out really well because I'd say the hits are more like pushes, which I like. So um, gameplay feels realistic. Uh, ooh, we actually stayed on the side there. I am not playing well at all though. I need to, to get a shot on net. Somehow still have this puck. Go to the net, go to the net. <laughs> oh no, I think Clark there um, blocked our one-timer. Okay, let's just rip it. Wow, another block. <laughs> wow, what a save on the rebound. Getting unlucky here. Oh, come on, get that. Oh my gosh. I think Clark blocked our one and then that's got to be a goal. There we go. So still the same cheese that works online works in this mode. And one thing I forgot to point out guys when looking at the ratings, I noticed their shots are quite different. You can see they're very low power like 79, 82 with the accuracy is quite high at 90. It's interesting though because like the body checking is still so high at 92 even though you know they don't hit. So I don't know, I feel like the shot power could have stayed you know mid 80s and then lowered like the physical quite a bit. Again trying to make it uh, more realistic but uh, whatever. So far it's actually you know seemed pretty good to me I thought gameplay wise. We're at the start of the second period now. I suck at face-offs. Big poke. Wait, is our goalie... Is our goalie not wearing a... Where's our goalie's mask? What? What the heck? Am I... I have to, I have to look at this in the replay. Is our goalie not wearing a mask? <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. First day of the new mode. And, uh, yeah. She is maskless. That's not good. That's some old-time hockey there. <laughs> I gotta... I wonder if that's going to get fixed or not, because otherwise, uh, we have an injured goalie here pretty soon. Just one high shot. I tried to hit Hillary Knight there, but basically bounced right off of her. So again, I think that's good. Um, should make the gameplay. Ooh, nice save. Fearless. Not wearing a mask. Doesn't matter. Ooh. No, she's too quick. Coin Schofield. Ooh, nice save. Nice moves. Okay, so like I was saying, I want to try the Michigan. Ah, did it, but forgot the puck. I want, I'm not sure who's got the best hands on this team, but... Oh, we gotta figure it out and try to do that. Love the international ice with this speed. Just so much room to skate. I don't know what that pass was, though. Oh, wow. I just noticed the American goalie also doesn't have a mask. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's just a glitch right now. I don't know how it took me till literally the second period to notice that. I think I just thought they were wearing, like, brown helmets. I don't know. Ooh, rubbed it off. And there we go. Nice little cross piece there. Make it 2-1. Finally win a face-off to Clark. So you gotta make up for that one uh, block shot. Gets denied. And yeah, definitely, it's so kind of interesting. Just um, the size of the players, the bigger ice, and then also, of course, the sliding, the sliders for the hitting. Feels like kind of a completely new game. I guess, too, I'm probably used to, like, hot, which is also quite different. Here we go, guys. Now the start of the third period. Oh, no. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a tied-up game right there. You can actually tell, like, Coin Schofield is quite fast, and with the bigger ice, like, speed, you know, is even more important. Knight coming in here. Nice poke. Oh, she went for the force bird. Respect. Skating it right up. No way, this is going to work. Oh, almost. Oh, no. Nice save. Nice save on the rebound. Um, Right here, guys. I'm not sure how to say her name. Doust? Or is it just Doust? I noticed she actually had the best deking, at least for a left-handed player. Um, I want to get this Michigan. Um, I mean, that's almost like the Zegras goal there. That would actually kind of nastier. Let's see, go behind the net. They're never gonna expect it. Oh, well, that was kind of nasty. Little windmill. Six minutes to go. We're still up one. We got numbers here. Ooh, what a rebound, but good defense. Goalie pulled. Nice save. Oh my, <laughs> that was a goal. And I think she she missed the net, hit the post. Oh, what a poke. Ten seconds. Matching like my computers and franchise. Instead of just shooting it on net, I'm going for the D. Nice save. Play it. There we go. Okay, so first game, come up with a W. And so next year, guys, I'm just going to sim the rest of the tournaments. I'm actually curious to see like who the simulation is going to have winning. Um, we'll have to take a look now at the bracket. Uh, Charlie Spooner, our leading score, five points, four games. So we're playing, is that Hungary, I believe, in the quarterfinal. You got Switzerland, Russia, USA, Japan. 
and then Czech Republic, Finland. So USA, Japan, um, even Canada, Hungary. Hungary went three and one. <laughs> they were like 50 something. I think it was Denmark actually was 50. They were like 60 something. Um, okay, we won seven nothing. I was going to say, uh, we know how the Czech Republic team and it's USA Switzerland. So this could be Canada USA gold medal final if we both win. We beat Czech Republic four to one. It is Canada USA gold medal final as we all predicted. I'll send this thing period by period. I was actually thinking rather than just playing another game like the exact game I played, I actually want to see who the simulation is going to predict. Not even just the WHF World Championship, but I think these teams are the Olympic teams. So curious to see who they have, you know, taken away Olympic gold here. Canada's up three in the first period. Love that. Spooner with a couple. Nurse with one. Five nothing. Pool and Jenner. Canada just unloading. Less shots to hold on there to a five nothing win. And gotta love that as a Canadian. Now I should have shown you guys the cutscene because it's actually kind of funny when the goalie doesn't have a helmet. Uh, so I actually got word. Apparently that happens when you use an older roster um, in like the latest one that came out. So basically if you're using a custom roster like mine, you're gonna have that issue with the goalie. Otherwise it's fine. So hopefully that'll be fixed eventually. And I'm assuming here, um, you know, there's not going to be a gold medal celebration or anything. I think they've had that already uh, with the World Juniors. Right there, I think, uh, pooling a night, shaking hands, that's pretty cool. Probably the two best players on the ice. And I was right, so just like the other international modes, unfortunately, no gold medal celebration. And right here, you guys can see Natalie Spooner was our leading scorer, 10.7 games. So she probably would have won tournament MVP. Of course, Canada there are your champions. Again, uh, take a last look at the bracket. I can't believe they beat USA 5 0 gold medal final. I thought for sure it'd be a closer game than that. But that's gonna do it, guys, for this video. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun, you know, playing the new mode. I think it's definitely gonna be good for kind of like, you know, the younger girls that are into hockey to uh, be able to play this mode with, you know, the girls they look up to. Very, very cool. But like I was saying, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, I'll leave that thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet. Hit the sub button down below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.